What's up guys, TC here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Starbound. Today, we have one goal, and it's the same goal we had last week, and on the episode before that too. We gotta find one more of these freaking Matter Manipulator modules. Now, as I have told you guys in previous episodes, part of the weird thing with playing Starbound is that it's an in-development game. And so that means things are going to be changing, and right now we had some stuff happen over the weekend that are changing things up on me a little bit, but I think it actually is for the better. You'll notice in my inventory now we have these matter module components, and these are actually really cool because you can craft, you can find them out in the world, and they're much more common than the modules. And mind you, you need the modules to upgrade your, your matter manipulator. Uh, we need five. We have four now. I did a little bit of off-camera work. But uh, these matter module components, you can find them in the world, pretty common, and the best thing is you can get them from... Uh, monsters that you kill in the wild, so that's actually where I've gotten a majority of these. I found a couple on a on a, a surface of a planet and a little bit down into a short cave. Um, I've also managed to get 10 tech chips, which is really nice, so we can actually upgrade our uh, our tech. And I've been wondering what I should go with, but I'm pretty certain I want to go with, um, I think I want to go with pulse jump. Because yeah, ultimately, like, yeah, the higher mobility is really nice, but I really like the you can you can like you know negate fall damage and stuff like that, so I think the best way to go is pulse jump. Well, shit, can we not do it? Oh, there we go, pulse jump unlock. So finally, we have our first bit of tech. Right? Oh wait, we gotta equip it, don't we? Pulse jump, select tech. All right, there we go. Finally, we have some tech. It has been a long, long road not having tech, and I found this really kick-ass sniper rifle on one of the planets. It's not like super strong, but anyways, we're over the last planet in our system they haven't been uh, down to yet, so I figure we might as well head on down. I'm positive that it's probably nighttime, because that's just my luck. Um, but I think we're just going to try to go... Oh, well, we got lucky. Okay, well, anyways, this is our last little planet here, and... Oh, sugar cane. Uh, you're not mean. Okay. Wow, this planet has a lot of sugar cane. Whoop, buddy. Let's, let's, whoop. Okay, dude, you really gotta cut the bullshit. Come on. Come on, you bastard. Okay. Piss him. I need a... I need another weapon. Holy shit. I need like a... I don't know. I, feel, I think I uh, need to go with my little... Uh, I need like a fully automatic weapon. Is this healing water? Ooh, it is. Okay, I'm gonna hold off. Uh, I got hit a couple times there. I'm gonna heal up. Here we go. Almost done. Yeah, this is one of the new, uh, you can look in the background, you'll actually notice this is one of the new forest parallaxes, which is, I think it's one of the best looking uh, par parallaxes there in the game. Oh, dude, really? Come on. Pop. Okay. Oh, wait, I want to get the sugar cane. There's actually a lot of stuff you can craft with sugar, so I'm going to go ahead and collect as much of this as I can. No, there we go. So... Now see, with our we wouldn't be able to make that jump normally, but now that we have boost jump, we can. So I'm actually really glad we went with that. Yeah, here's another perfect example of stuff we wouldn't normally be able to make, but since we have that tech, it's much easier. Oh, you guys want to ta tag team me? You want to tag team me? You want to tag team me? That's what I thought. So yeah, there's a lot of food you can craft with the uh, the sugar cane. What's it? Good. There's all fish in here. Do they give me anything? I don't think they do. No, they don't. But, uh, I actually just got done watching the Twitch stream from Ty and some of the other guys. Whoa, big dinosaur. They were just on Twitch earlier, and they were live streaming. They were going over most, I think, pretty much everything they showed off, um, we already knew about. Ooh, ooh, what is this? Okay, it's a Florin, um, back up. Uh, Florin, like, village or whatever they're called? What is this? Coffee beans. Oh, yeah, we already have these. Okay. So, this is nice. Okay, now I've learned the hard way in the past to put your weapons away or they get really ticked off. Take Florin through stars, Bert. Yeah, no thanks. Give me all your stuff. I'm going to loot your entire village. Nothing. Perfect. Okay, look at that. Hell yeah. We got our fifth one. Uh, I'm going to take the rest of this. And what is this? Taklaki Howl Terror. Energy per shot, 22. Wait. Damage per shot, 7. What is this one? This one's also damage 7. Uh, 1.55 fire rate. Oh, I love the look of this new one. So we're going to take it too. I'm going to throw away some of this crap though. Uh, some people were telling me in the last video they would, they'd like to see a little bit of uh, crafting done 
off like off camera, and I, I agree with that. But what I want to wait to start doing any building and crafting, I'm gonna wait till I find um, one of those desert arid planets. And that's where I really want to set up shop. Um, I don't normally do the the journals and all that stuff, but I might as well. Let's see, anything up here? I've never really gotten into these uh, those journal things. Every time I've ever played another chest. Oh, upgrade module. Okay, so wow, lots of good stuff here. Um, I'm gonna take all of it. Yeah, in case you don't know, the upgrade module can be used to upgrade our ship, and also can be used to upgrade our uh, armor as well. And I'm not sure if you watched my last video, but we can now use uh, core fragments, which before they were only used to fix your ship, and now you can actually craft those uh, upgrade components that we just found. Ooh, another, another thing. Oh, okay, this, this is bullshit, see? Wait, I spend like 20 episodes looking for these things, and I find two in the first 10 minutes of this one. Coffee beans, crossbow, um, do I want this? Here's for shot, no, no, I don't want this. I only like the other crossbows that have elemental damage on them. Uh, why am I hurt? But, yeah. So, like I was saying, let's clear up our inventory while we're sitting here healing up. Is there anything in here we don't really care about? Um, we got a lot of sugar cane back here. We don't want that. Yeah, that, that stacking bug is still in the game, and it is driving me up the wall. Um, I think we're going to start, uh, well, this doesn't have any elemental damage either, I'm not going to, I was going to say I was going to start using a sword a little bit, but I don't want to use a sword if it doesn't have elemental damage on it, and that one's just normal, it doesn't have anything special to it, so, um, if, there should be one of those floor and bones in here as well, which we should probably grab, but actually, no, we already have one, so we, we probably don't really have anything in particular to get here, okay, return to game. Uh, yeah, no thanks. Oh yeah, we did pick up some carrots, so that's nice. We'll have that as a, uh, I think, yeah, we can plant the carrots individually. Any chests up here? Um, I don't care about books. What's over here? No. Anything here? Um, I think I already have one of these. Nope. Alright. So, oh yeah, one of the things I was, uh, planning on doing, and I was wanted to get some everyone like people's input on this is I was going to consider about trying to get some interviews with the uh the development team that would be like Ty, Metadept and all them this hmm. uh yes yeah, so, I mean I was going to try to schedule like you know meet up with them uh in in game try to interview them a little bit and try to you know just have a way for them to interact with the community a little bit um obviously I don't have any I haven't even chatted with them yet but I do talk with the team every now and then so I feel like they they would probably be open to it I'm not going to guarantee it but, you know, it's something I think they will be down for. Ooh, chest. So, yes, another tech ship. That'll get us going. Um, how much does this do? Damage between 18. This one does like 21, yeah. Yeah, this one sucks. But, yeah, so I think that'll be a good idea. I think it'll be something fun. And it'll be something unique that I don't think many other people really have. Uh... And, yeah, I'm pretty close with quite a few guys. And what I would do, obviously, you know, I'd like to interview, like, Ty and, you know, the main guys. But I kind of want to get uh, interviews from the whole team, if possible. You know, obviously, I know I can't get it from everyone. But I think getting them from the arts, uh, the art team, any any of the, the programmers. Ooh, here's that uh, bone. The programmers, even. I would love to get different people's perspectives on how they've gone about developing the, uh, the game so far. Because I know it's been a... It's it's been a huge undertaking, and the game has evolved into so much more than I think what they intended on. And so I would love to see their, uh, you know, what they have to say about it. Man, it is really freaking dark. Okay. Okay, I thought they were shooting at me. Oh, really? So no way to get up there? Okay, let's see. I think I'm going to have to make a little bit of a bridge. Can I do it here? Man, I really need a... Um, the backpack item, like just desperately, I need it. Why is this so annoying? <sighs> okay, a little bit higher. There we go. Now we can get over it. Huh. Heal up a little bit. Yeah, these fireflies are actually new. You see them uh, floating around. They're actually new. They were just added in this weekend, I think. Are you hostile? Okay, good. So, well, I'm glad we got that stuff. Um, we really needed that. We really needed that to get our... I'm just glad we got the stupid module out of the way. Because that has been, you know, three episodes worth of us looking for stuff. And it's really just kind of held back our progress. Like, 
We were we were just going along fine, just getting items and stuff, and then we had to get the um, the steel spoon. Oh oh diamonds! Oh shit! Okay, hold on, let me kill this guy. He's not happy with me. Yeah, suck it. All right, I think these are actually our first diamonds in the series. Oh, that's good. Yeah, so now we'll be able to upgrade our matter manipulator. Be able to pick up liquids. We'll be able to go collect oil. And holy hell, this thing is slow on diamonds. But yeah, we'll be able to get the oil, which means we'll be able to make, I think, steel, which we have to have to make the spoon to finish our next quest. And also it means we'll be able to collect this freaking healing water, so we need to come back here and pick that up. Hmm. I think I'm... I'm not sure if, if we're good on... Yeah, we're good on bandages. I was going to say we might want to collect these uh, vines, but I think we're pretty good. And I'm... I'm getting kind of tired of that non-stack bug. It's kind of driving me up the wall. I remember there was a point where uh, these little, like these little things that we just opened up here, you could actually collect them, which is, I mean, is super broken because you could collect them and then replace them, and they would, uh, you could just like keep opening them. So you'd open it and then break it and then place it again, and so you could pretty much just get an infinite amount of stuff. Now I think that was before they added these, um, the ore seeding bombs to it, but either way. So I think what we're going to do is we'll collect these diamonds, and I think we're going to head up. I want to upgrade our uh, matter manipulator real quick. That's kind of my biggest priority right now. I just want to get that done out of the way. And I might craft some new food, because I think we have, uh, with all that sugarcane, we can make some foods that make us give us speed boost or whatever. And that's something I'm really interested in, having some food that can you know up our mobility a little bit. So let's freaking do this. No, here we go. Uh, let's talk. Five manipulator modules. Do it. Success. Your matter manipulator has been upgraded. Allow to collect liquids. Now, I think we can do this as two. No, we can't do this one yet. Okay, so now we... Shit. Oh my god, we need eight manipulator modules, which... I think the good news is we are... We already have our first bit here with this one, and we've got nine of these. We need one more of these, and we'll be at two. Um, let's put away our... Let's clear up our inventory a little bit. Oh man, we are... Uh, Running out of space, actually. Let's see, can I put any of this in here? Oh my god. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's, um, we'll take that out. Put that there. Um, sugar cane can go in. Carrot seeds can go in. This stuff can stay here. All of our ores we'll keep near us. Uh, one of our tech chips. Our sword. We'll keep the rest of this on us, I think, I guess. I mean, it's not really that important. Uh, upgrade module. We'll go ahead and put this bone in there. Yeah, I want to. I've been meaning to. Once I get, once I find a good savanna plant, I'm gonna set up a base, and that's probably where I'll start a little miniature colony there. I'll put a teleporter up, and that's probably where I'll be doing my uh, most of my stuff. Ooh, um, let's see. Let's go ahead and harvest our stuff here. Yeah. So as you guys, I'm not sure if you know or not, but in the recent update, like this weekend, they changed it with the watering mechanics, where you can no longer water them from below. So you have to water them from above now, and I've already made a, I've already come up with the device to automatically do it, but it's going to be a while before I can build one in this series. And we got all these ore. All right, so we have our boost jump tech. We have, um, we upgraded our matter manipulator. Let's hop down. Uh, you know, we really don't need the, the, yeah, we don't need the healing water right now. We just need to get to a desert planet and get some oil. That is our number one plan. Come on. Ugh. But yeah, you guys tell me what you think. And all, all, another quick thing is, like, what I really need is, let me hear some questions from you guys. Like, if I can manage to score a interview with Ty or with any of the developers, you guys give me some questions that you think they can answer. Obviously, don't be like, oh, what's the story or what's the plot? Like, they've got to be legitimate questions that you think they can answer. You know, there's certain things that they have to keep quiet. But if you have any, like, legitimately good questions, I would love to know. That way I can kind of... Let me be kind of like a medium between you guys and them, and I can ask them the questions that the community wants to know. So, I think that's pretty much the game plan for that. So, let's see. What is, let me compare these sniper rifles real quick again. This one is 1.55, and this one's 1.6. This one shoots quicker. Does it hit harder? Damage per shot 7, and the other one I think is 7 too. Yeah, so this one's just better all around, and it's big as shit too. Yeah, I think if if I were to play, um when we when the multiplayer kind of comes around, ah, oh, damn it, it's dark. Whenever we start getting into the multiplayer, like when the game gets closer to release, um, if I were to play, like I'm definitely gonna be doing. How hard is this? 
Ow! You should be dead. But yeah, so like whenever the um like whenever we played multiplayer, I think I would be that kind of guy who does the the long range stuff, like the sniper rifle. That that's kind of my that's the type type of role I like to play in games like this. I'm really excited about the uh, about Starbound's future as in a uh, from like a multiplayer perspective. I think it's going to be uh, really fun. Now, see, I had someone telling me earlier that the uh, the these like bone things were gone, and I'm, I think this is actually uh, I think they're redoing the the bone biome entirely. Here we go, oil. Yes. Oh yes, we can craft the lantern on the stick. Oh my god, I'm so happy right now. Hold on. I wonder if I can do this right now. Can I craft the lantern on the stick right now? No, I don't think I can. Shit. Well, don't worry. We're going to go and get the rest. We're going to get some more. Make sure we have plenty of oil. So I can make that lantern on a stick. I can make plenty of the, uh, what do you call it? I'm going to take this. I need a, um, a fireplace. Hmm. Might as well take these bones, too. I think... I kind of want to, um... I'm not sure, because, like, okay, so with, with the colonies thing, like, I kind of want to do it now. But part of me is I want to do, like, a theme, you know? Like, if I'm going to do it, I kind of want to, like, make it all matching. So I'm not sure, like, I, I need, what I need to do is sit down one day and decide what kind of colony I want. But then again, there are downsides to that, because if you have, like, a colony and it's all the same type of villagers, you're going to get stuck with the same loot and stuff like that. Like, they're going to, like, whenever they pay their bills... They're gonna give you the same loot pool, so I guess it it makes sense to have a you know, uh, I guess a culturally diverse colony. I guess is the word. Oh, this is cool. But yeah, so I think there's big benefits. Man, this is one ugly monster. Are you really gonna do this? Are you actually following me? Stop. Is he there? Oh, he is still there. How are you alive? Man. Busted my chops. Let's heal up a little bit and collect this oil. Make sure we get plenty of oil, so we can make plenty of uh, plenty of steel. Oh yes. That all. Yeah, but there. I mean, it's kind of cool though. I, I did love. I do love the way they went about it. Like, pretty much, you can make a colony with. With like all kinds of different uh, blocks, like you can make. They showed it today in the stream. They had like tar colonists, and you can make those Agarin guys, the mushroom people, move in. And all you have to do is have the right furniture and stuff. So like we could, we could use this tar here to craft furniture from the tar set, and have like I think it's cavemen looking guys that kind of move in, and they're pretty cool. So how much do we have here? Do we have enough? Um, where is it at? We got 396. I think we're good to go. So we're gonna beam up. Craft us some steel, craft us a spoon, head to the outpost and take care of that quest. We can finally move on and progress a little bit. So let's see, where do we make it at? Here? Steel. No. Iron. Steel bar. Okay. Now hold on. Someone correct me if I'm wrong here. But this seems like bullshit right here. Uh, You guys saw that the other day that this said... It needed oil and iron. Okay, and now it says it needs iron and copper. Oh my god. No. We're, I mean, it's not that we did it all for nothing. But they literally just changed this. Oh my god, <laughs> this is fucking insane. This is going to drive me up the wall. Okay. So, we can make steel. Now, I want to know is, where do we make the steel spoon thing at? That's what I want to know. Where the heck do I make it at? Down here? Steel spoon, steel spoon, steel spoon. Metal workstation? Oh, here it is. Okay, so I have to make a metal workstation first. So I need 20 steel bars. So that's what we need to make. Steel bar. Let's make 19 of them. There we go. Now we should be able to craft a metal workstation. And there's our lantern on a stick, which we'll need... We'll need unrefined wood for, which shouldn't be too hard. So where was that thing at? There it is. Metal workstation. Nice. Okay. So let's put this up here. Where's that? Where's that? There we go. Move, bunny. So now we should be able to craft us a steel spoon. There it is. With one steel bar, which is not that hard. We'll just go over here. Make us a few more steel bars. 
Steel spoon, done. All right, now what's? Ooh, we also can get our uh, our next armor set over here, the quail set, which it requires titanium, so we'll have to go up a level. Um, yeah, we'll have to go up, but I think that'll be after we um, what is it? We can go in and out of our solar system into new planets. So what do we have to do here? What do we have to? Do? I'm lost. Steel bar. Oh yeah, I want to craft a lantern on a stick, which means I need to go down and grab some trees real quick. So, one second. We're going to beam down. I refuse to progress any further without a lantern on a stick. I'm done. I'm freaking done. Yes. Give me a tree. Give me your freaking wood. Stay away, bird. I hate the birds in this game. Like, like I get it. They're ambient, but holy hell, they're annoying. Okay, let's just make sure we have enough. I'll be damned if I have to come back down here. And yeah, so now that we finally got a little bit of tech, I feel like not like a giant toddler. Ooh, I'll take this. Ah, so that is our timer for today, guys. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this episode just a little further today. Was there anything in here? Oh, that's our old one. Ow! Okay, here's what we're going to do. Um, Let's eat that. I just want to find... Oh, you know what? Screw it. We're just going to go up. We should have enough wood to craft our lantern on a stick. And once I get that, we'll head to the outpost and we'll take care of our business there. Lantern on a stick, lantern on a stick, lantern on a stick. Where's that? Lantern on a stick. Lantern on a stick. Where's that? Lantern, where are you? Don't play with my heart like this. Okay, we need two more iron bars. Steel bars, whatever. Okay, there we go. So, let's look it up. Finally get this long-needed upgrade. Iron, what? Oh my god, don't tell me. Uh, hmm. So we need iron. We need to make some iron bars. We need to make... Get the fuck out of here. If you're telling me we're short on iron bars now, I'm gonna fucking lose it. Because we crafted too many steel bars. Oh my god. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. No, we're fucking two iron bars short. Alright, we're gonna go to the outpost. <sighs> go to the outpost, turn in this stupid quest, move on to the next one. I'll take care of getting the iron off camera, and we'll have a lantern on a stick next time. So, where are you at? You with the most annoying fucking quest of all time. Take your stupid spoon. Oh, that's good. They gave me a tech. Okay, I can do that. That's worth it. A tech drive. So now we can get our dash. What do you need? Bring me a cake. Okay, we'll get on that in a second. We'll get yours too. Cool jacket. Okay, I can do that as well. So cool jacket and cake. And these are going to be all of our quests for coming up. Hey, what do you want? A script. Okay, I can find that in here. The script is the uh, item. Let's, you can find in this place. So, I want to buy one of these, but it'll be in the future. We have enough to buy one now, but I'm not quite sure. We'll, uh, whatever one we buy will be dependent on what we theme our our little uh, our colony. So there you have it, guys. Finally, finally, finally got our upgrade. I noobed out a little bit and used up our remaining iron to make steel, but it's fine. I'm gonna hop down to this planet. But that's all I got for today, guys. I will see you probably later this week. So uh, please rate, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you later.